Hey everybody, I just wanted to share with you the big project that's going on in my living room. So stay tuned. When I came here, uh, there was an odd angle on this side of the fireplace. I couldn't understand it. I called the former owner and he said, there's a pipe under there from the toilet from above uh, the fireplace. <laughs> I'm going, why didn't that go in the wall, I wonder? Well, I guess it was an add-on later. Anyway, that owner just put a piece of sheetrock over it. And so I was assuming that if I took the sheetrock off, I would find a single pipe going straight down and maybe I could push that back a little bit, bring the angle out, make it a wider rectangle, a hearth, fireplace, and then, <laughs> well, you'll see what I found. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's out. So where are those parts? Somewhere in the back? Still up in there. Oh, they're still up in there? Yeah. Oh, I see. So you're just going to leave them hanging? Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we can leave them. Okay. We're done. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Get whatever you think. We'll, we'll, we'll get go ahead them. and get those other forward. We'll go yeah, that's fine. So Tommy, that was really funny. Tell me what you just said. I asked you, I asked you if if you and Jimmy were gonna literally lift that stove up with your hands, and you said, <laughs> "We haven't got that far." <laughs> you haven't thought about that. No, we haven't oh, thought about I that. Thought, I thought I thought you might have thought of about that before you started the job. No, no oh, I see. It. Normally we in it before we realize it. All right, I hope this have some reason. That. Well, it's out. It's actually a pretty fireplace inside. The masonry, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Ever who did the work, they did some good work on this house. I'd notice that outside. Yeah, that's good. I felt it fun there. That's a good fireplace. It's a good fireplace. How much do you think that weighs? Oh, come on. Don't on. tell me it, I'll quit. <laughs> so, are you saying that this was done when they did the fireplace? Well, I guess it. Did, I guess it was because I don't think it's nothing well, that they added that was, in. But I'm not, that was cut around that pipe when they yeah, did that. So, yeah. you know, it's. But the you thing see is, big old no, I know. But I, the, the, why is this cemented in? If why didn't it go? It may have hit right on top of a jaw you know, issue. Yeah, there may be a main beam coming across there or something. Oh, shoot, I wasn't expecting to see this. I was expecting this to go all the way back to the wall, and and to see one long pipe running up and down. That's what I was expecting to see. I mean, you know they didn't do that when they built this house. So this morning, I'm waiting for the guys to come back. And what we had to do, because there was a big drain pipe down there, and the former owners had gone straight back into the wall right here at a right angle. It looked very strange. Okay, so we built this out, have the mesh over it to hold the facing, and then what I'm putting over this, because this brick is so kind of messed up, you know, this is dark with inset mortar. This mortar is, is has been just kind of patched in here. To grind all that out, there would be so much dust in here, it would be ridiculous. And this had been covered with some kind of uh, shiny, dark stuff and not up here because this had been covered with, previously had been covered with wood paneling. This fireplace was built very well. The masonry is very good on it. Uh, there's no chance of moving the fireplace over. It is going to sit off-centered. I have a mid-century modern look going in the living room with my furniture, so I'm hoping that's going to be nice. And I'm going to use a very light colored stone 
It's a facing material that is stone-like. It's going to sit out about that much from the wall. It stacks so you don't see mortar. You just see stone. And it's very pale, so it won't be such a big, dark thing over here in the corner of the room. And I am going to be a whole lot happier. It's going to go straight to the top, whereas before I had some kind of baseboard molding up there to cover up that wood. Also, because they were planning to use the paneling, they didn't uh, particularly do this brick very well. I want to make it look better what is here. So, here's my living room. Everything's kind of covered up, pushed aside, moved out. I should cover that up. I haven't. When I started, I thought maybe I'll just have the brick cleaned and the mortar ground down, but he said that would put so much dust in this house you wouldn't believe. And <laughs> you can see the dust when you saw into mortar or brick or concrete. So I just said, I don't want that. And even if we had done that, it wouldn't resolve the problem with the angle. So now I'm gonna have an offset hearth on my fireplace and we picked out the stone i was going to get i was going to get um manufactured stone and they come in all sorts of patterns and uh colors and i went to the company and i sat there for an hour on the floor and the sales lady finally just said i want you to be happy and you don't seem like you're happy. And they didn't have that much in stock, you see. I might have been happy, but it was gonna be four to six weeks with my fireplace, my insert sitting in the living room and everything covered up. And I didn't want that. I wanted to resolve this ASAP. Cause I've got so many other things I need to do here. So she said, why don't you look at tile? So she showed me a website and I saw exactly what I thought I wanted and I went over there. And it was right there on the wall. And it was four times more expensive than manufactured stone. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I was in love with it. It was very, it felt very modern art. It was different colors and it was, oh, oh, it wasn't tile. It was stone, quartz stone, which is why it's so expensive. <laughs> I was texting Vanita and Linda and, and Cherie, all the people that I had, you know, been in touch with recently. They're all great interior designers and they're going, don't get it so busy. And visually it would have been the thing you look at in this room instead of the art. So I got a more subtle one and we ordered it. It's going to be shipped here directly and it'll be here on Wednesday. So. I hope to get this project finished by Wednesday and get my insert back in. And then I'm getting my chimney cleaned, swept, and then I'll be good to go for the rest of the winter. <laughs> so today, what's happening is he is cutting the hearthstones, which are manufactured stone. They're made from concrete, very, very durable. Never have to worry about these things breaking. That's what's happening today.
Tommy and his cousin Jimmy are working on this project and Tommy has been doing this for at least 40 years. So I feel like I'm in really good hands, but they kid around a lot and they're going, this is the first time we've done this. <laughs> Two sides to each stone, you have to slice it off. Except for the the two in the center, and you have both sides in the back cut. One may have been poured a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, who knows? And the other one could have been poured a few months back, you know? Yeah, I just, but when we were looking at them, but they looked more similar than they do now. Yeah, but there's no two, there's no two stones going to be the same. These stones are tough. It's, they're just tough to cut. Will that diamond blade get you through this job? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. It will. It will. One hundred twenty-five dollars for that blade. Ooh. You know, I've got. You know, most masonry blades we use is about thirty dollars a piece, but these stones are so so tough. Tough that uh, I went and got a diamond blade for them. Okay. All right. Nothing but the best for. For Kay's job. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Kay's not happy, nobody's happy. That's kind of true, you know. You know, the best for Kay. <laughs> of course, I don't know anybody out here, so no one out here will know whether I'm happy or not. <laughs> <laughs> Your flip phone is uh, I don't. Ca I really don't care. <laughs> I saw him like flip this phone up and I'm going, what is that? <laughs> He still uses a flip phone. It's not a smartphone. And I'm thinking, you know what? Life was so much simpler then. You know, all these apps that are supposed to make our lives so much better. You gotta wonder. You really gotta wonder. We all got along just fine <laughs> before we had all these communications. Thanks so much for watching this channel. And if you're a late bloomer like me, I hope you'll subscribe if, if you're new to the channel. And uh, I'll see all of you in the next video.